My name's Lance. After spending 15 years in the U.S. Army, my wife and I moved back to Germany, where she's from. I have a passion for history and sightseeing, which I love sharing with the world. So join me, and together we will travel around detecting Bavaria. Well, howdy, everybody. You know, I'm getting ready to go out on the field, so I'm putting my days together and going to be heading out. But I'd like to go ahead and share with you something that happened. And uh, this was last Friday. I had just dropped my wife off at work, so I decided, you know, I'm just going to do an impromptu uh, hunt out on a field that was just mowed. And I'm only going to stay out there for an hour and a half, two hours. And uh, this is what happened. Luck would have it, you know, I didn't bring anything to film, just my phone with a camera on it. And um, so it ended up being, I just shared it live on Facebook. That's it for me. See you guys on the first find. And uh, I had a double signal. First, uh, I found a square nail, and then I found this. My very first ring. This is an old brass ring or bronze ring but until the next find gotta love the rings but just a couple minutes ago I found that brass ring that you just saw or bronze whatever it is uh, but I just found this I'll show it to you all I did is just use the uh, the black Addy extended invader flip the dirt and it was right there let me show it to you so right there I think you should be able to just see it sitting on top that's the problem with these old coins in Germany from about 1910 to the early 1920s. Uh, I believe they were zinc, and they just get toasted out here on these fields when they're buried too long. So listen, this is going to sound like an advertisement. I don't care. The dais is actually giving you some of the most accurate signals once you understand exactly the tones that you're getting she's giving you the exact idea of what it is that's under the ground i mean i get the tones and then i look on the display and this time it was a solid 80 81 so i'm going to go ahead and show you exactly what i just dug up god this is a great day it is a small little beauty i mean look at that the size of my finger if even and they picked this up without a problem. So I don't know what this is. Um, I haven't cleaned it, obviously. But look how thin that thing is. This is a thin one. So I'm guessing it's going to be in the Kreutzer range. So I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup. Nothing fancy here. All right, so there it is right there. It's an 1870 one finning coin. This is fantastic. If I turn it over, you can still see the coat of arms. I'm not going to clean it up anymore out here. But this is fantastic. Oh, this is in beautiful shape, too. So, I haven't even made it 10 feet from that one fenning coin. All right, sorry about the shadow. Like I said, it's early in the morning out here. Uh, we're just after 9 o'clock, I think. Uh, but there it is. Another coin. Uh, this looks to be about the same thing, so I'm guessing it's going to be another one fenning coin. Let me clean it up and I'll show it to you in just a second. Oh, this is the most I dare to clean it up out here right now. So I'm going to have to show you a photo of this right now. I'm going to go ahead and show you my next find. Check this out. And again, my dais has struck a coin. This is an extremely thin coin. This is all I'm going to do to clean it up right now. But I'm hoping, with luck, 
This is going to be the oldest coin that I've found. But I'm just going to leave it. All right? I'm going to leave it. And uh, I'll show you guys in a photo. Now you see why I cut into the video. 1755 to 1779. It's officially my oldest coin that I found on a field. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to share my discovery with you as I discovered it. Um, a good friend of mine, Dr. A, he's the one that gave me the information. He saw just enough of the detail to know exactly what it was. So thank you, Dr. A. I'll see you on the fields one of these days. But for the rest of you guys watching this video, let's get back out there and to the heat. There is my last hole. That's the last coin I found. Now, there. Check that out. Today is the day of deus domination. All right, so I've never had this happen to me before. Right after I found the coin, I uh, got my camera out and it said, camera needs to cool down before you can use it. I've never seen that happen before. So anyway, uh, just a quick recap. That coin ended up being another one fenning coin from 1856. Well, that's going to be it for me today. Right now I'm about to head off. I'm going to go into town, get me a nice cold drink. But I'll tell you what, even in this heat, the day is really paid off. Listen to the tones, look at the VDI numbers, and then decide if you want to dig it up. After a while, kind of like me, you'll know the difference between all the tones. Get used to your machine. It's going to love you, and I guarantee you're going to love it more. It's better than any machine that you've seen out there. I sound like a salesman, but, you know, the truth is the truth. From me to all of you. Happy hunting. Let's dig it up, y'all. To go out with my wife, uh, go out. Take two. You know, I can show you some of these. Isn't it weird when you start talking and you just totally forget what you want to say? All right, let's try this again. It is an 1870 one fenning. Can you tell it's hot? I don't know why. All right, so I'm having a I'll share a photo with you right now, hopefully right here. I can't see it. I'm jealous of you right now because I want to know what it is right now. All right, that's enough. Well, that's going to be it for... So you can kind of see why I kind of cut into the, uh, the video. I want to thank all you guys. So now... Now you see why I had to cut into the video. A coin from 1755 to 1779. My official oldest. All right, so now you guys had to see. I just want to remind you guys that the GDA podcast now has their own official Facebook page. 
go check it out global detection adventures podcast on facebook go over there like it share it let's blast this thing around the world so everybody joins and listens to the podcast